Life was hard when I was growing up. Um, me and my family didn't believe in anything. We were atheists. We didn't believe in anything helping us. Didn't even consider going to church. We, we thought people who were happy were weird. <laughs> Everything felt really doom and gloom. I had a lot of anxiety, uh, try to control everything. We weren't a cohesive family. We were just kind of moving parts. Just, it was tough. It was really tough, but you know, I love them all the same. And I know that they did the best that they can. Growing up um, into my adult life, I just carried along from where I was as a kid and still had a lot of anxiety, uh, tried to control everything. I had a lot of hate in my body. I was angry at people. I couldn't believe that people could be happy. Um, and it got to the point where I was trying to control things so much that my world just fell apart. Um, I felt like I had no purpose in life. and. Um, it was really tough. I got to a point where I just kind of, I just wanted to give up. And uh, I just thought that not being here would be the best option. And I just thought that not being alive was the best. I got to a point of this deep, dark hole that I realized I just had to climb out of. I had to like tooth and nail, climb out of this deep, dark hole. And yeah, when I was in my deepest, darkest spot, I still didn't believe in God. I started to believe in something. It wasn't necessarily God. I started to believe in crystals. And then I started reading tarot cards because it was just the progression to the next thing. And then every time I'd look at the sun, I would say, oh, hey, God, how's it going? So I started to believe that the sun was God. So when I tried the crystals, tarot cards, it just wasn't enough. And looking back, I wished that I had something more concrete and then started to look into religion. And I realized that, oh, there's churches all over the place with Christianity and I was just naturally drawn to that. So when I first started coming to church, I was very anonymous. Um, so I'd come to church and I'd sort of be about two minutes late and then I'd sit in the back and I was just hoping that nobody saw me or nobody knew, knew me or knew that I was here. At that point I surrendered and I, I know now it was God that I was surrendering to and then things started to change. When I first experienced Jesus was through Alpha, through the Holy Spirit weekend, and I didn't know anything about Jesus at all. I knew there was, there was a God, but I didn't know anything about this actual person that people were talking about. And I had decided that 2020 was gonna be my year of having a relationship with God. I didn't really understand that Jesus was actually a part of that until I signed up for Alpha and then started to learn about who he was and realizing that this was a real person, that he did incredible things for us. Um, but it wasn't until that Holy Spirit weekend that I realized there's something inside of me happening. Um, we prayed, come Holy Spirit, and then all of a sudden I felt this burning, this fire inside of me. Life is amazing. <laughs> Life is so good. Honestly, there are days where I think to myself, is this really my life? There's less grinding. I don't have to, I don't have to put effort into everything now. I'm full of joy. I'm probably one of the most optimistic people that I know, which some people even comment on that. And it kind of shocks me because of just how negative and, and frustrated I used to be. God is real through the feeling that I have. I'm a very feeling type person and I can sense his presence all the time through music, through nature, through reading the Bible, through having conversations with other people. 
honestly, ever since knowing Jesus, it's like, it's like I don't even know who I was before. It's like I'm a completely different person and I have such a different relationship with my family than I ever have. And it's, it's almost like we're closer now than we ever have been. And I don't understand it and I don't need to understand it. I just know that since welcoming Jesus, it's like everything's changed.